What is up, my dudes, and the one girl who wishes she just had someone to talk to? This is Bikes, Beards, and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. New videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Man, I just want to hang out with you all the time. So today, we're doing a review on the Pack Talk Edge. Ooh, we're even doing this a little bit differently than other reviews I've had. Check it out. Skycam. <laughs> That's right. We're doing the Pack Talk Edge. Not heard of the Pack Talk Edge? That's because the Pack Talk Edge is literally brand new, fresh off the press. Uh, this came out about a week or two ago, uh, mid May 2022, I want to say. It comes with Bluetooth 5.2, so it's the most advanced Bluetooth as claimed on the market today. It has the second generation of mesh technology on uh, the Cardos and the Pack Talks and all that stuff. Before we get too deep into this, I want to make abundantly clear, just like the Roar Rock, just like anything else I've shown you and I've done a review on, I bought this with my own money. Um, I did reach out to Cardo originally, and I said, hey guys, uh, you wanna hook me up with a Cardo? Because, well, I use Cardo. I've, I've used Cardo in the past, actually, on my HJC i90. I have used the Cardo, uh, what is it, Slim Pack Talk, or Pack Talk Slim, there we go. And uh, I really like it. I actually left Senna to go to Cardo. So, you know, I, I was fairly confident that I was going to like this device. So they didn't respond, whatever. I, I'm not big enough and cool enough to send uh, free stuff to you. And that's okay, because as you can see, bought it anyway, it's all right. This is something that I am very much invested in. I very much like Cardo products. Uh, we're gonna be dividing this review up into a couple different pieces. First and foremost, we're gonna do the unboxing today, which is why we got the SkyCamp. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to be attaching it to my helmet and uh, then I'm gonna test it and see how it works. A couple things you wanna know. Um, the car this Cardo, the Pack Talk Edge, uses 40 millimeter speakers. Um, it comes in just a little under $400. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and crack this open and uh, let's talk about it. What up, Skycam? <laughs> so, per usual, I mean, Cardo's packaging, always awesome, always good, no complaints there. So let's see what we got here. First thing right out of the box, we have just the communicator. All the good stuff hidden underneath, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Oh. Directions, stickers, because I mean, if you don't have a sticker, how do people know you're using the cardo? Uh, paperwork, stuff. We're, we're going to end up reading that. Honestly, I'm going to end up reading this stuff. Why? Because this Cardo is incredibly robust. And uh, depending on what you want to get out of it uh, is, is what you should learn. So, you know, if you're just using it for communication, maybe uh, music, you probably don't need to read any of the stuff. You don't. But if you want to get into all the, the voice commands and, you know, answering your phone and all that crap, you're probably going to want to check that out. So next up, you know, you've got your basic black box. This is something that pretty much all Cardos have. This is where all the other stuff lies. Uh, let's open that up. So we've got alcohol prep pads, microphone, uh, speaker adapters, clips. We've got the actual speakers right there. We've got a boom mic if you so desire. We've got the USB cable and we've got the mount. So this is another thing that Cardo is doing now that they have not done in the past. I think this is actually the first communicator where they've actually gone to USB-C. This is fantastic. For those of you who don't realize why this is fantastic, previous to this, they were just using micro USB. Micro USB does not transfer data as fast and it does not charge as quickly. So with this, Cardo claims that 
20 minutes of charge time gives you two hours of talk time. So the Cardo itself is claiming, I believe, 13 hours of um, actual use time. So if, if you're somehow needing more than 13 hours, you stop, you grab a coffee or something, you plug in your, uh, your calm here, you get you know 20 minutes, time to drink your coffee, and then you got another two hours. So that's pretty cool. Another cool thing uh, I'm actually really looking forward to showing you is normally Cardos are known for clipping into these. Um, their, their mount, this is actually going on the helmet. Normally these clip into these. However, this new setup, magnetic. How awesome is that? So, all right, look, I don't know how to undo it right now. <laughs> As you can see, very strong, very effective magnet. <laughs> all right, man, I'll get back to that when I figure out how to take it off. I'm sure it's much easier once it's mounted onto the helmet. Um, but yeah, so that is the whole initial setup. You've got your two wires that are gonna go into your helmet. One is for your microphone, one is for your headphones. Uh, the headphones apparently have been redesigned. These are 40 millimeter speakers, just like in previous models with exception of one. We'll talk about that in a minute. Except these are supposed to have three different modes, sound modes. So there's like voice, there's uh, super bass, there's extra loud. Um, so I'm really looking forward to testing these because I do have the previous version, 40 millimeter speakers on my Cardo Pack Talk Slim. Now, one of the things that Cardo has done in the past is they've offered 45 millimeter speaker upgrades. These are supposed to be better than those speaker upgrades. Uh, another thing about the Cardo is you no longer have to plug it in to do updates. It does over air Wi-Fi updates. So that is supposed to make this much easier to keep up to date and use effectively. Um, there's other stuff like the, the mesh system is supposed to be much easier, one touch, all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, so the next time you see me, I'm probably going to be installing this on my helmet. And uh, then we're gonna start getting to like test rides and all that fun stuff. So. Um, Transition! Ah. All right, guys, we are on the road right now, and uh, I have been playing around with the Cardo for a little bit. Um, so, quite honestly, myself, as a motor vlogger, as like a biker, all that stuff, I just use my Cardo primarily to talk to other people that I'm riding with. Uh, so that's usually, you know, my wife, father-in-law, uh, Dave, basically all of them own Cardos because I told them to go out and buy Cardos or I bought Cardos for them, one or the other. So that's also why I've stuck with Cardo because man, what a dick move that would be to go out and buy like another communicator after telling them to buy the Cardo. Uh, nonetheless, a little off track here. Even if you have somebody who is using a different communicator, they can still connect with you on the Cardo. The Cardo has two different types of connections to it. It uses Bluetooth or it uses its DMC, which is its dynamic mesh communication, whatever it's called. The mesh is obviously the better of the two. The reason why is because it's part of a self healing network, that's what they call it. So essentially if you, five of your friends, up to 15 of your friends are all using a Cardo, you can all connect to each other. And if one of you falls out of range, either, you know, that one guy who's gotta like go blowing down the road and, you know, far surpasses the one mile, 1.5 mile, whatever range that a communicator has and becomes disconnected, when they come back into that pack, when they're back into range, if, they're, if you're all doing the mesh, it reconnects. Now, every now and then you get that one dork who shows up and, you know, didn't get the email that he should be on a Cardo. So he shows up with like a Senna or a Lexan or whatever the hell the other ones are called. They can still connect as well, as long as it's a, it's a fairly newer unit. Most newer units will talk to each other via Bluetooth. Uh, part of the drawbacks of Bluetooth are 
if they fall out of range and you guys become disconnected, you're not gonna be able to just reconnect. There's no self-heal on the Bluetooth. So it's all starting over. Every time you stop your ride, if you shut off your communicators, like you're grabbing breakfast, grabbing a beer, whatever, you're again going to have to reconnect. Whereas in the mesh, you just turn your communicator on, it's going to remember any other communicators that have been connected to it and automatically connect to those, so it's pretty awesome. So I did make some videos installing this on my helmet and quite, I guess ironically or entertainingly enough, I just put out a video about why like GoPros absolutely piss me off. I'll put that video here. So when I did that video, I was talking about how like unreliable the remote is and you know how unreliable the cameras can be depending on like the day. So when I was recording that second video where I was doing the install, my GoPro remote decided to die. And when it died, instead of just letting my cameras run, it decided that it was just going to stop them. Not only did it decide that it was going to stop them, it was all for whatever reason decided it wasn't going to do the chimes so I didn't even know that the recording stopped by the time I got done and I looked at the video I was like oh look at that I recorded nothing in all honesty the install took a couple minutes this is really easy to install on your helmet and I'm sure if you've ever done a communicator before you're just gonna be able to drop this right in no problems whatsoever everything's plug-and-play it's easy to line up um, I'm probably not the guy who would be able to teach you any sort of fancy tricks to get this done any better than following the instructions. So with the install, you get a couple different options. You can either clamp it onto your helmet or you can use the uh, double-sided adhesive tape. I chose to go with the double-sided adhesive tape. The reason for that is I use the clamp on my old helmet with my pack top slim and one of the things i found was i got a horrible whistling in my ear i think i've actually done damage to my left ear going down to north carolina because i had that horrible whistling the whole time down i did bring earplugs with me none of them sat comfortably it was miserable and um yeah like the the clamp just causes like a gap between the foam padding on your helmet and your actual helmet no matter how thin it is you're always going to have like some sort of little gap and i'm not all about that life of covering up my helmet with like 5,000 sheets of like duct tape or gaffers tape or something like that i want my helmet to look pretty clean even with all this crap that i've stuck on it so I've decided to go with the adhesive. I ran the wires in, there's only two. There's one for the headphone, one for the mic. Um, I was correct when I said that the communicator comes off much easier once the, the backing is mounted to a helmet. It really is just as simple as like, well, try not to kill me, guy. It's really just as simple as push down on the front and then from the back of the car to push forward like to the front of the helmet slides right out it's fantastic and those magnets hold on like a mofo uh, one of the other things I'll talk about is the speakers I know I mentioned it before they are 40 millimeter speakers the older cardio cardos used 40 millimeter speakers as well I will say these 40 millimeter speakers I don't know what they did differently I honestly could not tell you but man these things are loud and they are it's not loud like you know I had a Senna before and it was all high-end it was very tinny it was like stabbing my eardrums this is loud full sound it sounds incredibly good to the point where I had to turn it down in my helmet because it was too loud and again not all high-end it it had a nice nice range for it uh, I think when I go on longer trips now, instead of using my stereo like I normally do and trying to hear that over the wind and all that crap, I may just listen in my helmet going forth because it was good. It was really, really good. I cannot complain about it whatsoever. 
Cardo also talked about how they were going to make it so you could do one touch connection to other Cardos that much easier. They want the mesh connection to work much better and much easier for you. Um, from what I found, that is factually true. It is much easier. They also talked about making the Cardo voice response thing much better so you can do it's like your hey Google, hey Siri, whatever like that. But you can do like, hey Cardo. And um, I tried it a little bit. Honestly, I, again, this is not something I'm gonna use a lot, so I really don't care. Um, and I don't know how how much you guys care. But it's it seemed all right. I also tried the radio just because. Um, actually, one of the reasons why I tried the radio is because I got rid of that stupid whip antenna that my bike had like day one nothing looks so dumb and i put a little stubby on there the little stubby i could listen to the radio if i really wanted to which i've never really come across like there's never been a time where i'm like man i wish i could listen to the radio so i don't worry about it don't sweat it um but yeah i could listen to a radio if station if i like parked directly under their tower and i don't know like held the tower so that's that's how good that stubby uh, antenna is. However, the antenna in this Cardo works fantastic. I, I actually went through, I went through some of the stations that I have in my car and the Cardo picked them up just as well. It was really good. I really do want to circle back on the speakers because I mean, honestly, the speakers are really good good and and again they're 40 millimeter speakers all over again so it's not like they made them bigger they don't appear to be any deeper than the old ones that's really all i got right now there's there's not too too much i can really dig into on a cardo i guess <laughs> like um honestly it's it's pretty sweet so far i don't i don't feel it dragging on my helmet um i mean honestly i haven't been at maddening speeds yet but i could generally feel like you know when there's something on my helmet or there's something different i don't feel that currently i don't hear any whistling and even with my uh pack talk slim at these like city speeds i would be hearing the whistling all right guys i'm gonna finish this uh finish this up on the bike i guess we'll toss it back to the desk we'll finish up this video so uh join me over there won't you all right guys final leg of this review let's just jump right into it so yes this has been absolutely awesome and uh as i was saying much easier to remove you just push down here push forward much easier to remove once it's on the helmet clicks right into place that that whole magnetic thing is just great yeah so no more clicking into place nothing like that so let's let's get into the the final thoughts here. Uh, who is this communicator for? Honestly, if you want the newest, the biggest, the best, the most cutting edge, if you want like the best sounding speakers you can get right now, if you want like voice command, if you want to be able to take and make phone calls, which I know older generations can do as well. Um, this is just kind of like, it's a very blanket statement, but if, if you want everything just like completely new, completely like if you're the kind of person that stands in line for three days to buy the new iPhone or something like that, this communicator's for you. Um, who is this communicator not for? Quite honestly, if you're just using your communicator to chat back and forth with other friends, um, stuff like that, like the very bare basics, again, making phone calls, listening to music occasionally, stuff like that, you can get away with an older generation um, pack talk. In fact, I'm telling you right now, you can go to Amazon or something like that. I would honestly just go to Google, and type in pack talk black. That's what it looks like. So the pack talk black came out after the bold. It came out just before this. The big difference between the black and the bold, aside from the fact that the black looks way cooler because it's all blacked out, is the fact that it comes with the 45 millimeter speaker upgrade. The ones that normally cost $100 or so for you to get for any of the other pack talks you buy. 
uh, you can now find the Pack Talk Black. And this is why I'm saying go to Google, type in Pack Talk Black, and then hit like shopping. You'll see like, you can get this thing for like 250, 260, stuff like that, really cheap. And again, if you know you were to buy like the Pack Talk Bold, and then you were to buy the upgraded 45 millimeter speakers, um, even if you got the Pack Talk Bold at $250, you're still spending like another 80 to 100 for that speaker upgrade. So with the black, you're just getting that. So when it comes down to it, it's almost like you're getting a Pack Talk Bold for $150, and then the upgraded speakers for 100. That's pretty sweet. Um, can you tell that I'm not <laughs> sponsored or endorsed by Cardo just yet? I'm telling you to go buy their old stuff. <laughs> Aside from that though, this is a really good unit. I really like it. Again, like the, the sound is just incredible. I know I've um, harped on the speakers quite a bit, but honestly, that's, that's the thing for me. I, I like to chat uh, with other people. And I like to, like, you know, I normally don't listen to stuff in my helmet, but that may be switching soon because these sound good. This is some good sounding stuff. Stuff that I'd like to see different, Cardo, man, you would own the communicator market, at least in the moto vlogger sphere, if you release some sort of pigtail that we could install that had a line out on like the microphone, the speakers that went into our GoPro. So we don't have to do this crazy, like, you know, 15 wire adjustment thing or a second microphone leaning against like one of our earpieces. Like I have seen some of the crazy setups that you have to go through to actually record your friends while you're like, you know, using any sort of action camera on the front and using a communicator. It's nuts. Seriously, just make us like a pigtail <laughs> with the line out. Sell that for 80 bucks. That would be exorbitantly expensive, but I'd still buy it because it would be fantastic to have. Um, yeah, I don't really have any complaints just yet. Uh, maybe a little bit down the line. At some point in time, I do plan to do a video that is just, you know, a full breakdown of my 2022 Moto Vlogger setup, uh, helmet, all the equipment in there, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll probably touch upon the cardo a little bit more at that point in time and like, you know, any, any sort of issues I might have come into um, since then. But overall, this, this is a great communicator. I, I do not regret ever like cutting over the cardo from Senna. Um, I, I've got no complaints. I, I really think this is something you should do if, uh, if you're looking for the newest and the biggest and the best. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family, share it with that one dork you know who is always complaining that he just wants to talk to you and there's just no way when you're on a motorcycle. He loves this stuff, trust me. And I'll see you all on the flip side.